He's famous for his bright colours and swimming pools. He's also one of the UK's most influential living painters. David Hockney has been making art for six decades. And to celebrate that milestone, an international team of curators has put together a retrospective of his work. Belle Lupton went along to take a look. He's best known for these. The swimming pools of the Hollywood Hills, depictions of 60s Bohemia in Los Angeles. British-born artist David Hockney has spent his life documenting the people and places around him. The canvas is his diary, where he plays with ideas of reality, artificiality and perspective. Now a show at London's Tate Britain has brought together his achievements in painting, drawing, print, photography and video. There are more than 230 works on display here. That's a first, not only for Hockney, who hasn't had a retrospective since 1988, but also for the Tate Galleries, which have never put on an exhibition this big. And it's broken another record too, with well over 20,000 tickets sold before the doors have even opened to the public. This is Tate's fastest selling show ever. The exhibition is chronological, starting with rarely seen student works, like these ironic experiments in abstraction. Just a few years and two rooms later, Hockney has left modernism behind in search of the naturalism he's known for. To think of the iconic Hockney is to think of an artist whose, whose images are always changing, the place is always changing, but it's also about finding a place for the viewer. You know, it's a very, very generous art, bringing the viewer into the work. The curators have reunited a series of double portraits, begun in the late 60s, grand in scale, yet intimate in subject. Hockney captures complex relationships between people he knows in these highly staged settings. At the start of the new millennium, the long-time California resident moved back to northern England to spend time with his ailing mother. The swimming pools of LA were replaced with the rolling countryside of Yorkshire, as Hockney experimented with new media. This is an artist who, at 79 years old, uses his iPad to create new works. Still painting every day, Hockney says he's now in his most prolific period. As testament to this, two new paintings, one finished just a few months ago, of his beloved Hollywood home. They're being shown to the public for the first time. His work is recognisable, we all know it. And yet coming face to face with paintings that have only really been seen in the pages of books just show now how He's so well-known, but actually he's the most well-known, unknown artist. The exhibition is in London until the end of May, when it'll travel to Paris and then to New York. Belle Lupton, TRT World, London.